Today we're going to talk about the number plane. So a number plane or a Cartesian plane includes a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis. The, uh, the Cartesian plane is named after René Descartes who uh, discovered it or who, who invented it as a method of uh, communicating mathematical ideas and communicating maths in a way that uh, could be shown in a graphical way, in a visual way. So there are four quadrants to the, to the number plane or the Cartesian plane. Quadrant one occurs where both X and Y are positive. So quadrant one is in this corner, then quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise here. A point on the plane is given some coordinates, X comma Y, and they're in brackets like that in parentheses. So the X coordinate always comes first, and the Y coordinate comes second. 0, 0 is called the origin. So if it's got the coordinates uh, x is 0, y is 0, it's the origin, it's right in the centre, right in the centre of the number plane. So here, 0, 0, the origin on this number plane is right in the centre. The uh, designation, the coordinates that are given to any point uh, include the first, uh, the first value is the horizontal units from the origin, so uh, we move as many points, places we need to horizontally first for that first value, um, and if it's a negative value, we move in the negative direction down the number number plane, um, and then the second value we're given is the y value. It's the uh, vertical units from the origin, so we move up the number pl um, the number plane or down the number plane, depending on what the coordinates might be. So for example, if we had uh, the coordinates uh, 2, 3, we would first move 2 in the horizontal direction, positive 2 in the horizontal direction, and positive 3 in the vertical direction. So that would be this point here on the number plane. Having a look at an example here, we need to draw a number plane extending from negative 4 to positive 4 on both axes, then plot and label some points. So here are the points we've been given, A, B, C, D, E and F. So we've drawn the number plane here, it extends from positive 4 to negative 4 on both axes. So here's the Y axis going from negative 4 to positive 4, and our X axis going from negative 4 to positive 4. So firstly we're asked to plot A, which is point 2, 3, so two plate points along on the x-axis, on the horizontal axis, and then three points upward, and we've plotted A. We've labelled it with an A um, where we've put our dot. The next one, B, is 0, 4, so we move zero places on the x-axis horizontally, and then four vertically, one, two, three, four, so we can see point B is on the y-axis here, because we haven't moved off it. Um, plus or minus for the for the x value here. We've stayed on the y axis. C negative one, so we need to first move one down the x plane, and then positive two up. So negative one, two, and we see C is placed there at negative one, two. D negative three, zero. So we move negative three down the horizontal plane, the horizontal axis and then zero up or down, so we stay on the x-axis. So our point here, D, is on the x-axis. E is negative two, negative two, so we move negative two down the x-axis, and then negative two, the y-axis. And lastly, F is positive two up the x-axis and negative four down the uh, y-axis. So here, the, uh, our point A is in the first quadrant, C is in the second quadrant, E is in the third quadrant, and F is in the fourth quadrant. D and B are both on the borders of two different two quadrants, so it's in it's in neither.